In this video, we'll do a partial derivative example that is a little more complicated, where we have to use the single variable chain rule. So our example asks us to compute partial f partial x and partial f partial y for the function f of xy equals sine of pi x e to the xy. Now to do this we have to use the single variable chain rule because basically we have a function plugged into another function. So remember our single variable chain rule is f prime u times u prime where u is the function on the inside. So let's start by identifying our outer and inner function. So our f of u equals sine of u and u is the pi x e to the xy because pi x e to the xy is plugged in to the sine function. So now our goal is to find f prime of u and then we'll have to do partial derivative of u with respect to x and partial derivative of u with respect to y. So f prime u equals cosine of u and we have to plug the u function back in. So that will equal cosine of pi x e to the xy. So that's going to be our f prime u that gets multiplied by the derivative of the inside function. So now the inside function involves both x and y, so we'll have to do partial derivatives. So first we find u sub x, or the partial derivative of u with respect to x, so that is the partial derivative with respect to x of the function pi x e to the xy. Now here I have pi x times e to the xy, so it's a product of two x functions. So I need to use the product rule f prime g plus f g prime, where f is the first factor of the product and g is the second factor of the product. So identifying f and g, I have f equals pi x and g equals e to the xy. So I do the derivatives with respect to x. So f prime equals pi and g prime equals e to the xy times the derivative of that inside function xy which with respect to x will have a derivative of the constant y, so times y. And so this is y e to the xy, that's our g prime. So now we put it together in terms of the product rule. So f prime was uh, pi, g was e to the xy, so pi e to the xy plus pi x was my f and g prime was y e to the xy. So the partial derivative of u with respect to x is pi e to the xy plus pi x y e to the xy. Now we're going to do the same thing but with respect to y. So I want u sub y equals the partial derivative with respect to y of the function pi x e to the xy. So in this case, I only have a single y in that function, and that's in the exponent of the e, and so the pi x is just a constant multiple. So my derivative with respect to y is going to be that constant multiple, pi x, times the derivative of e to the xy, which is e to the xy, times the derivative of the exponent and with respect to y that will just be the constant x and so I have pi x times e to the xy times x and I simplify that to pi x squared e to the xy. So you can see how this partial derivative is more complicated than the example in our first video because we're having to apply this chain rule and the product rule and um, go through all these steps in order to get our derivatives. 
So now we're ready to put it all together. Remember, um, we're using the chain rule, and so the partial derivative of f with respect to x equals f prime u times u sub x, which is cosine of pi x e to the xy times the whole quantity pi e to the xy plus pi xy e to the xy. So there is our partial derivative of f with respect to x. And it was the f prime u times u prime. Okay, do the same thing for y. Partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to f prime u times u sub y. So cosine pi x e to the xy times pi x squared e to the xy. And there are my partial derivatives with respect to x and y.